hello there in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use Oracle VM VirtualBox manager so VirtualBox is the software that is developed by Oracle and it can be used to install virtual uh, soft operating systems into current Windows system so the operating systems are decided within Windows system so for example if you wanna install say Linux Ubuntu or Linux Mint all these operating systems or all the distributions of op uh, Linux can be installed on the same Windows 10 machine so that's why Oracle uh, VirtualBox uh, software is very useful uh, if you want to try and uh, like feel how the Linux operating system looks like so you can just install that uh, Linux system on your onto the virtual machine and then in that virtual box and then you can use that uh, just like normal uh, standalone uh, Linux operating system so first of all uh, how you can uh, download and install that particular operating uh, virtual box software for that you have to uh, go to the Google and then just search for the Oracle virtual box and then you can download that particular file so I have already downloaded that particular file and it is uh, available in that in my D drive software folder so as you can see here I have got that L Ubuntu file sorry uh, this virtual box software exe file that I have downloaded for my Windows system and I have just installed that and after installation this is how it looks like Oracle VM virtual box manager so here you can uh, you can already see that I have already installed L Ubuntu operating system into this uh, virtual box manager and you can uh, install multiple uh, Linux systems here just uh, I'll just show you how you can install a new operating system over here so for creating a new machine you just click on new and then you have to just give the type of the name of the operating system say if you wanna install mint Linux mint just type mint and then here you can uh, use the version so let us uh, say if you want to install Debian type Debian and it will be automatically selected then you have to click on next then you have to give the memory size here and click on next after that you have to give the uh, hard disk size for that particular machine so depending upon how much size you have got give the 8 GB uh, hard disk drive hard disk size so, uh, most of the time uh, you, if you want to install a lot of softwares on that virtual box or virtual operating system you will have to increase this size so 8 GB is not sufficient so most of the times you will have to ec add extra size and then you can click on create and here you can create virtual di box disk image which people can copy and paste onto uh, their machines so that you ca they can uh, literally launch the operating system itself from that particular uh, disk image then click on next then uh, keep that option as it is and here you can increase the size depending upon how much you have got and then click on create so this is how you can create a virtual box uh, operating system in windows and I'll show you a lot of properties, uh, the properties that you will have to set. So, properties that are set over here are like, uh, if you go to the settings, it will display all the properties of that particular operating system. So, in the general, it will show you the name of the operating system, then type and all this stuff. In the advanced tab, it will show uh, whether the clipboard is shared and drag and drop is available. Like, uh, this is the guest operating system whatever operating systems you installed in oracle vm are called as guest operating system and your windows operating system is the host operating system so how do you manage the clipboard like if you want if you can copy paste from both the machines if you want to allow that you have to select bidirectional and if you want to uh, allow drag and drop from both the machines then you have to select bidirectional and then next important settings is like memory here you can ch uh, ch alter the memory then you can use the boot order over here so first uh, for the first time you can uh, select optical disk then hard disk all this uh, th this is the order in which your operating system will look for the installation bootable uh, d drive and in the display you can uh, choose video memory 
then monitor count scale factor all that settings in the storage uh, you can uh, give like select which operat uh, hard disk is attached to that particular operating system and then uh, audio you can choose which audio you want to use so here we have selected the host audio that is windows audio then in the network you can enable the network adapter that is available over there in the you can use the host operating systems uh, network adapter and serial ports usb all that you can use host operating systems and that's it so once your operating system is installed all you have to do is just click on start button and uh, before you install the operating system make sure that you have got the that operation systems ISO image so you will have to install that ISO image uh, download that uh, one so like here you can see that I have downloaded L Ubuntu ISO image and then uh, when we are uh, st creating a new operating system at the uh, last steps it will ask for that operating systems uh, ISO image and then you can download uh, you can install uh, the operating system from that ISO image once it is uh, installed all you have to do is click on start button and then that operating system will be started so as you can see the operating system is uh, loading or booting and once it is booted you can just try to use it so L Ubuntu is the operating system the lightweight version of the Ubuntu because uh, if you are installing it as a VM then it uh, this L Ubuntu re requires very less amount of memory that's why uh, I will uh, I choose L Ubuntu but if you are uh, installing that Ubuntu on the standalone machine then you you can use uh, the normal Ubuntu operating system because it contains a lot of packages that you might need to use so this is the version that I'm using of L Ubuntu 15.10 and it is starting the display the first home page of the home screen for the L Ubuntu so here I have already given the ID and password for that I'm just gonna put the password for that and then hit login and the operating system is up and running over here so as you can see the operating system is started and then uh, you can open the terminal to give the commands run the commands and do whatever you want to do in that operating system like say ls which is used to list the f files in that particular directory and this is how you can use uh, the Linux operating systems or any other operating system within Windows in using Oracle for a virtual box manager so if you like this video hit like button thank you